Hey, welcome back guys. So my name is Anthony Chambers. I am a real estate agent here in California. And on this channel, I just talk about most things that have to do with real estate. And today what we're gonna talk about is asbestos. And actually more importantly, how can you easily check for asbestos if you have an item in your house that you're kind of worried about? So let's go ahead and get started. So real quick, I just wanna let you know, I'm not an asbestos expert, but I do know a little bit about it just cause I've dealt with it on a few transactions. And what I'm gonna do is just give you a light overview of, of asbestos. Be sure to check the description. I'll put more information about asbestos down there. But basically asbestos is, it's just a great insulator. So it was something that was developed to help insulate HVAC systems or pipe systems throughout the house. And then around the 70s, I believe the early 70s, maybe like around 72, 73, something like that, the federal government banned a lot of materials from using asbestos. So because a lot of the homes that I work on in my market were built pre-1970s, they have a lot of asbestos in the house. Usually it's not an issue until it's been broken up or it has started to chip off. But as long as it's intact, usually it's not too much of an issue. And it, as long as you don't touch it or crack it or damage it, it just stays there. So let's talk about a few ways to check to see if there is asbestos and if you should be concerned about it. So I'll just tell you a little bit of a story. I was selling a home and the general inspector got into the attic and they noticed that there were a couple of cracks on the ductwork going through the attic. So they alerted the buyer. So in turn, the buyer ended up hiring an asbestos remediation company. They went up there, took a look at it. They gave a quote on what it's gonna take to change that ductwork and then replace it and dispose of the asbestos properly. So it ended up being, I think $700 and that's a whole nother negotiation in itself. But that's one way that you can check for asbestos on one particular item in the house. Much more convenient way to check for asbestos are these little packets that you can buy at like Home Depot, Lowe's, any kind of hardware company. So they're about this big and they sell for, I think, maybe $15. And basically what you do is you just scrape off a small part of that paint or insulation, whatever it is, and you put it inside the bag, you mail it out to their lab, and then they'll send you the results via email and let you know if there is asbestos in that part of your house. So again, that's pretty cheap, pretty convenient. And if you are concerned about something having asbestos in your house, then maybe you want to start there. If you find out there is asbestos in whatever it is you're looking at in your house, then you can contact the remediation company and then figure out a way to have that removed. Or they can even guide you to let you know if you even need to have it removed. A lot of times they just say, just leave it there. Just don't touch it. Don't damage it and everything should be fine. So those are the two ways that I know how you can check for asbestos and then also approximately what the cost is. Do you have another way to check for asbestos? Be sure to leave a comment below, let us all know. And if you are an asbestos expert, leave us a comment below, let us know if we should be concerned about that. And I hope you found the video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.